yok. The secretary to the election management committee, who pretty much runs the day to day affairs of uh, this team, Mr. Kaya Jeremiah Mwande. Mr. Jeremiah is a, a liar, I'm sorry, a lawyer. He's a liar. <laughs> a lawyer, a liar. Please go to my. <laughs> All right, so. This is the team, so a number of them have uh, stayed put. This is the team that uh, is running our election affairs. Um, we have a lot of trust in them that they are going to do an incredible job. They are credible people. We have tried them, as many of you have tested them, and many of you have given us good reports about these particular people. And we believe that uh, they are going to steer this process without fear or favor. Um, honestly, as they will be able to. Let me invite our team leader, Honorable Chagulani Sentamu, to officially unveil them. I know he'll be speaking later, but we'll take a picture with them to also commission them. Let's have that next. Okay, this is the members People power, our power, NUP everywhere. Should we smile? <laughs> Why not? Thank you, the election management committee. Uh, please do approach them. For those of you that have uh, any queries related to the electoral process, um, I must warn those of us that uh, might have ideas that you see. So if I want this team to to be able to to take my name, I should be able to oil them. This team here is unbribable, and we expect our supporters not to be the kind that we want to give bribes. We we are fighting corruption that is predominant in this current establishment, so we don't want foster the same. Uh, so for any of you that have any complaints, do approach them. They will be able to operate and deal with your issues in a free and fair manner. We are also going to unveil a team that is going to do, and has been anyway, doing a lot of work for us, our fundraising team. So we are gearing up for an election. And you all know that an election requires a lot of resources. Which resources are out there with you people, in your pockets, your wallets. But uh, we have a team that is helping us to do that, to raise funds for the campaign process. We need plenty of money, posters, and all the other paraphernalia that we shall need, and all the work that must be done to, to keep doing the work of the party. And so we have a team that's been doing uh, quite a bit of work we are going to unveil um, just the two leaders, the leadership of that team. There's many other members that are part of that team. We may not necessarily uh, have them here, but uh, we are going to unveil the leaders. So I'm going to invite uh, the chairperson of our fundraising team, who is also the Deputy Secretary General of the National Unity Platform, Ms. Aisha Kabanda. <laughs> I'll also invite uh, Dr. Gordon Sematiko. Okay, 
just a little bit about these two people. Aisha, the other day we told you everything about her. She's uh, been around as a leader. She's a uh, former RCC of Kampala. And uh, she's really one of our pillars now in the National Unity Platform. And uh, we salute all our efforts. Um, Dr. Kudon Sema Kiko, he has a lengthy CV. I just run through one or two things. He was the public, publicity secretary of the NRM in uh, Mitiana district. And uh, he was secretary NRM in the 8th parliament. He was a member of parliament. He was part of the Uganda Focus 10. Um, he was the chief pharmacist of Mulago Hospital from 1990 to 2000. He was there for 10 years. He was executive director of the National Drug Authority from 2011 to 2015. He was member of parliament for Mitiana North 2006 to 2011. And that is the Honorable Dr. Gordon. I'll uh, justify the principal to take a picture with them. NUP everywhere. Everywhere. NUP. People power. Power. I'll invite a few minutes to take a picture with them. Please stand in the middle of that money. <laughs> People power, our power, power. power. NUP, everywhere, everywhere. NUP. Take a cent of all of us. Okay, um, thank you. So that's the team that is leading the other bulk of the team. There is uh, another team that is uh, doing a lot of behind the scenes work. But this is the leadership team that will be steering that. Let me actually on that note invite Comrade Aisha to say one or two things and then uh, we shall proceed with the program. Thank you very much. Any way, and how the time to do such a good job we have done. 
while others endowed with logistics and financial resources but do not have the stamina or time or liberty as some are employed in sensitive public offices or private positions that demand to be seen as a political. A synergy of these advantages is which we are looking forward to fostering. We therefore make this call to all brothers and sisters that are not able to physically participate in that as we push for change to contribute by raising funds to facilitate this struggle. No amount of money is too little. For us, therefore, no amount of money, any amount of money counts. You may, co you may also contribute in kind, for example, in form of service, t-shirts, fuel, vehicles, motorcycles, to mention but a few. Friends, the young men and women that traverse this country sensitizing the communities and popularizing our symbol, that is the umbrella, need, ta need air time, data, transport, accommodation, food, water, to mention but a few. The many that are arrested need to be bailed out at exorbitant fees designed by the state just to weaken us. Thanks to the lawyers that have offered pro bono services, that is free services, but also need fuel to reach the courts and other best courts. Many of our colleagues have been injured by the state operatives, some in accidents, and have to be treated. Others have been lucky to survive, rather, others have not been lucky to survive the wrath of the dictator of fate. But the livelihood of their families must continue. There are enormous challenges that the food soldiers go through, but they are determined to carry on until we wear the victor's crown. We pray that the rest of us that cannot play a part, that they play, you facilitate the struggle by providing logistics. This campaign is visual campaign. We therefore need a lot of branding, posters, billboards, banners, t-shirts, caps, fire space on radio, television, radio and television, and internet. This campaign needs a lot of fuel to be able to reach people in their respective villages. In short, this so-called scientific campaign needs a lot of money. To illustrate, this is just an illustration. Uganda has 68,700 soldiers in villages. And assuming that you have only five foot soldiers in every village, working only four days in a week for the remaining 22 weeks, to elections, giving each of them 20,000 shillings to cater for all the expenses that they need and even take care of their homes. You know how big it is. You need 604 million shillings, 850 plus small money. That's just one activity. This is not you, but it's meant to encourage you to do more. The people we are competing with spend from our national coffers, spending taxpayers' money and misappropriating debts that they have taken on our behalf to be taken to be paid for by children and grandchildren in future. While they desire to renew their tenure in office to make another loot of our hand money, we must spend everything that is left to us to salvage our country from heartless people and build a foundation for a better future. Our strength and hope is in our numbers. And that is why we say people power is our power. Raising the money we need to defeat the junta is not rocket science but just commitment from each one of us. There are 17 million registered people, plus small numbers. We already told you that we shall defeat President Museveni by, by 80%. Using a 
conservative approach. We estimate that 30 percent of the voters will not respond to our fundraising, probably because they cannot support us, but also maybe others are too poor to make a contribution. This will leave us with approximately 12.5 million people who will respond to our fundraising call. We assume that if only 1 million Ugandans contribute only 500,000 shillings and only another 1 million shillings contributes 300,000 shillings and another 3 million Ugandans contributes only 100,000 shillings and the many of us that have very little contribute 10,000 shillings we shall be able to contribute 1.175 trillion shillings only from that mass collection this will lead to a collection of 1.175, I already mentioned that. Putting into consideration the other forms of fundraising, we are hopeful that we shall be able to raise the funds that we need to push President Seven and his colleagues out of power. We therefore, we are therefore here to inform Ugandans that the uphill task can be made easy if we all individually play a part that we can. Together, we can send the dictatorship packing decisively. And where the victims from? We make this promise finally. Every penny you contribute will be put into the use it is meant for. We shall be transparent, rigorous in accounting, frugal in spending, but considerate in the welfare of our party, task force, and the movement of our workers, especially the foot soldiers that you see every day toiling in the field. Thank you once again, Ugandans. Thank you for accepting the change and embracing the change that we desire to see come 2021. So God and my Luganda. Never have business, but your business is a government of Zidia, 
kubanga ovayo to wagira fe abasere bisinga abantu bagala business za kakati tusaba mmwe abatasokala kola peche tukola mutiyambe sonda ka center katambuza ko muri muguno omuri muguno gweta ga center nyinji ko abana abatambula ne bagenda mu byaleyo bulikana ku beta gensi nje zibatambuza beta gencho kulya necho kunywa ate na makaga byabera bagaliseyo abana bafebanji baba gadde baba kwatire ebintu ebitali mune baba gadira seto roko agalo kutimala mu amani esala une cheka ko emisolo nga minene nyo zoita belfis osoro kwera nga baba chayo Echo no chitufuli do kwanti fana tusasa nya sente kuwanana Neba loya za bagena mkotu likasera Teba za baloya abo Kubanga bako zomu ni mkwa wwelele Neba eta agama futa Akaba tambu za Neba nafwa walabanji baba se Abo beba se ama kaga we Obula mbuino kwe langa kugena mmasa Kampeni no zino zeba salo neba gama mbuta science Zeta gensi mindala nyingi nyo nyo Kubanga zetu lichoko la cha sente Bogena ku radio zeta ga sente bogena ku tv za ga sente abantu tena kuba tuka ko muntu ku muntu weta ga mafuta manji tuka ku bantu bati tweta ga chiba ite kola branding okubanga omuntu akalola jaka ku bisa maso alaba ko nabo ekitwe tweta ga in lot of posters banners chiyo ne yeta ga ebitu yetu kola okwera nga tukula tu branding nabo ekitwe banyuwa tusaba mwe banafe abatafunya mukisa kubere no tetuli Tusonda ka sente buli omuka asobo do kusonda. Teli sente nchono, sente tona kutuziwa kechitiwa. Era buli sente ne kuatibuwa kutimu ya fe, eja kubwa hako ne risiti ya yo. Mungkola ngawa muna ajidaba, ala mutu jena kubwa wane certificate, okusinzi la kusende ze tunawa kubwa denga kwa tuwe chitiwa, eja chono wotu kore te. Neka nopa angatele ze mu. Hensi mizo tuwa, ne certificate ze tunawa kubwa, ze zi kufula wa chitaro nyo, Wango yobono wa isa mwa mazo, haina chako la kuchota kwa lachi, chota sobo la. Kwa ina muwendo kwa yunda kusasulila mwana kwa wakuga, kwa wako wa kwa miku. Katiko botuwa milioni ya tano tuwe ya mzisula, kwa chitiwa. Kwa nkana nkana no wano yo, kwa kimbule miku, kwa yunda. Chili nge chizibu, tusa no sende zafe kwa wanga, bali kwa wanafe, wakia na kutola zafe, zetu waba wenda, batola kusende za government, msolo kwa muwa, Nekuzi mauli ya kakakumu Mkuru agama nchia ya gala mmoto kaza Dabo kabini pika kia Hela nga nazo naba tutuwa la mfiru Kukenda kufa iranga Sita wanya fe kuzo ganya fe Na mwe chitu Tuete agana fe tuete kitu Kwa wata tuwa dese Kwa sabo wala kutuwe bintu Mbukaru wabiyo Tisha kusoboka Kwa sita zile wala wala tuwa te mkama wafi Kwa tuwa lo kuwa nchila wano Kwa wala wala mkuru kwa So evi nitu mafuta, emotoka, pichi pichi, kagari, chosobo de chituwe, tuberenga kutu walomu sadja kubanga ye, tumu sobo za. Kwa hivyo ni njenyo ni esi njini, singa fena uyo mako la chasa wala. Kwa hivyo tuga ambye, wawu kade chikumi avlete, wawu ya galete, wawaka kata galete, wawu mtu walo kumi, na wawu mtu walo kumu. Nya mwono lete, chinusu na chokutu ya kuchituwa, ni ratu chieba za kubanga choro mwono 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 Nevi gambe yo, kwa uza soko soko chusa kwa uza Kwa uza lo kwe waza, kwe waza Mwenda, haba vera wo nyo kwa kwe Kwa uza vera, kwe waza ni wana mauli Kwa uza mzange kwa uza ya kwe Kwa uza na wa wakendo kwa kwa uzimi Kwa uza commitment ya kwa uza Kwa uza mzame kwa uza 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 kwa Nevi kambevyo, kula katuwa nensi yange, katuwa nda kususawa, asuwa kwa mzi, bili ya bili kukumu. Katimika, tugena kuita mkama wafe, aje, to unveil. Kwa yurutimbo uro, luliko ezimu kwa kutimiti ze tugendo kukola, abamu niyamba kwa wajiba muyambe, kusumulo rutimbe uro kwe wansi, Olunvani magenda kola that symbolic action. Of course, chagula niyata demu bulichimu no bulambo ya mteka mune senda zita demu. Na agenda kola that symbolic action. Mteka mune senda ya fe. Agenda kubikula atuteremu. Olunvani walo kwe langa vikula kutimbo. Katikisa baba asha ziba fe mje. Kusumurule bada ya fe. Eberenge kwa wansi. Our team of Asha's come and hold our principal.
Let them push behind.
Vous êtes bien tué Ok, merci, merci. On a dit Mathieu. Il vous laisse apprécier de vous donner un autre But just two weeks after we unveiled the National Unity Platform, we gave the NRM government a run for their money. I want to congratulate all of us. I want to believe that if we had the ability, if we were ready, and indeed if we fronted candidates all around the country, this would have been a resounding win for us. Now, this is supposed to be a lesson, ladies and gentlemen. 
we must have candidates everywhere on all elective positions. And yes, we must be united. We must speak with one voice. We notice a lot of confusion, like our spokesperson has already noted, in those youth elections. It was an eye-opener for us. One, that we have among us people that join us not with the intention of ousting the dictatorship, but with other motives. That's supposed to open our eyes even wider. But again, I want to salute the young men and women that stood their ground. That explains why comrades like Katerega have been in prison, because they stood in the way of the dictatorship. Ladies and gentlemen, we met the Electoral Commission yesterday and raised all the concerns. Concerns like RDCs and other security operatives taking the role of the Electoral Commission, denominating our candidates, and even in other instances where we had candidates that won, those that were running the elections refused to give them the declaration of results forms. We continue to put the Electoral Commission on notice, and we told them face to face that Ugandans are not going to sit back and accept those irregularities. They should be aware that all the troubles that Uganda has gone through were majorly caused by bad elections. So they should be reminded that this time around, this generation is much younger, much stronger, and much more resolved not to take such nonsense. And ladies and gentlemen, when we met the Electoral Commission, we also raised the concern of constant blockages of our events while NRM candidates and leaders are having rallies and meetings everywhere. Our meetings have continued to be disrupted, even when we are a legally registered political entity. You all know that in Mobende, radio stations were closed to block us from speaking on them. In Barara, radio stations were blocked by the police and informed that police have to clear them before they can post us. And yes, in Bali they blocked us and we took them to court. And as a matter of fact, tomorrow we shall be in Bali and we expect the Inspector General of Police, the RDC and all other uh, security personalities that were involved in that injustice. We expect them in court tomorrow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, having had a very good um, signal from the recently concluded youth election, I want to call upon the young people of Uganda to get involved even deeper in this, our struggle. For those of you that still doubt your abilities, now you know that people are on our side. Don't be shy. Challenge for leadership in all positions. Um, ladies and gentlemen, many of you heard the remarks, the unfortunate remarks of President Joe in the 70s when he was commissioning um, the new uh, security personality. He cut it, say, maybe of the forgetfulness that is caused by many things is age inclusive. He is not able to remember the lies that he told yesterday. After I and many other comrades were badly tortured to near death in Arua, he came out and denied vehemently that we had not been beaten. But because we are serving a God that never sleeps, He came out without any compulsion to say the truth and the whole truth. He came out to tell the world that I was beaten and I was beaten very well. <laughs> that I was beaten properly in the right way. That is the president of Uganda. I thank God that we did not have to push him to say the truth. 
But again, I thank God even further because he gave evidence to the world. After we were arrested, we were charged with treason. His government shamelessly paraded machine guns and claimed that those guns were got to my hotel room. But now he came out and said the truth, and I hope our courts will use that as part of evidence. And I want to inform you that we are going to use that as part of evidence to take Mr. Museveni to the International Criminal Court. Oh. Our lawyers here in Uganda, here in Africa, and internationally are busy building a case, and we shall be informing you. But again, I must tell you that we shall also take him to the domestic courts, because the crime that he and his thugs committed are crimes internationally and yes they are crimes locally. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute pleasure to commission our fundraising. Um, I thank Comrade Aisha Kamanda and uh, Atim for the work, for the job that they've been doing and continue to do. And it's on that note that I want to ask all of you ladies and gentlemen here in Uganda and abroad to be part of this. Banange mutivere mu, mutivere mu, tuliyal. We don't have the money that we need, but at least we have the resolve and we have the deal. For a long time we did not necessarily need so much money, but now that the campaigns are almost officially beginning, we shall need money. We shall need fuel. We shall need posters. We shall need food, and we do not work because all our businesses have been blocked by the regime. We are going to use all legal and moral means of fundraising, from selling our paraphernalia, to sweet talking you, ladies and gentlemen, to ensure that you own this, because this is not about us alone. It's not about the national inter platform alone. It's about Uganda. It's about the generations to come. It is a people's struggle. While our oppressors are using our own money to ensure that we don't reach out to you, to ensure that we are grounded, we want to use the love and support that we have from you, ladies and gentlemen. So please be part of this. You can start by, we, you can start with what you have. Yes, we are calling our campaign Modaku Moda, Wachida Kuchida, Wawaya Kuwaya. But I know that we have many patriotic Ugandans, many of them that cannot even come out in the public, but they love the country, they support the struggle, and they want to be with us. Kindly reach out to Comrade Aisha Kavanda or to any of the leaders from the People Power Movement and the National Unity Platform to see that you help. We know that many of you can offer much more than 10,000 please do what you can do and do all you can do. Um, this was addressed, but I want to address it even further, that we have gotten reports from the field, reports of confusion, sadly, by many people that purport to be members of the National Unity Platform. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the national unity platform. This platform or political party was launched recently because there was every effort to confuse us. We launched this platform to avoid confusion, so we hope it will not create more confusion. Because we did not have a uniform symbol, and many of our comrades were facing challenges. And yes, even the dictatorship was intending to use that weakness, fronting candidates that are sponsored by the regime, and then presenting them as people power candidates, but also failing to notice who is one of us and who is not, and that is why we broke that symbol. We salute all the members that joined from inception, the members that joined much later, and the members that are joining now, and we even salute in advance the members that will join us moving forward. My message to you, comrades, is 
that according to the laws of Uganda, you can only belong to one political party. So because you can only belong to one political party, we would not encourage the members that have one leg in NUP and another leg elsewhere. I've said it before and I will say it again, that you are either NUP or you are not. <laughs> Having said that, we respect and continue to work together with all other political formations seeking for change in Uganda. We have a clear understanding with comrades that we are working with. For example, comrades uh, from JEMA led by Comrade Asumani Vasarirwa, we intend to have an understanding with our brothers and sisters from the FTC. We intend to have an understanding with our brothers and sisters from the ANT. And yes, we intend to have an understanding with our brothers and sisters from the Democratic Party, those that are still there. What should be clear is that you should be confident and clear where you stand. It's okay not to belong to NUP. We can work together with love, trust, and respect from where you are. However, if you join the National Unity Platform, kindly be with the National Unity Platform. You cannot belong to two political formations, and that will help to ease the confusion that has been ongoing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, last but not least, I want to encourage our brothers and sisters that we have been working with all along, not to feel sidelined, not to feel intimidated by our brothers and sisters that join us. We are together, we are the same. But again, we've said it before and we say it again, that we shall see and judge everybody by their actions. <laughs> it is not just enough to say, I am people power. It is not enough to say, I'm NUP. We judge people not by their words, not by what they wear, but by their actions. Now, while I'm welcoming the new election management committee, I have just a brief message for you, ladies and gentlemen. Do not discriminate. Yes. Do not discriminate candidates according to their age, according to their financial status, or according to their social stand. Every Ugandan is equal. We started by saying that people power is our power. It is not up to the politicians to decide for the people. It is for the people to decide for the people. We have no power if we don't have the people by our side. So do not discriminate. Do not sideline anyone. Two, do not allow fake leaders. Take time to look out who is real and who is not. If you are if you are working with the electro, election management committee of the national unity platform, look out for candidates that are national unity platform, both outside and inside. And finally, please. Corruption is one of the vices that we are fighting. So do not take bribes. I repeat, do not take bribes from candidates. And to you candidates, do not give bribes to anybody. We are against corruption in the struggle as we will be against corruption when we take power. And yes, we shall deal with corrupt leaders in the struggle the same way we shall deal with corrupt leaders when we take power. Thank you for God and my country. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
mubeyo mwesimbeo mchikirira abantu kubanga eliyo dembe lya mu tuzenga tuchibagamba era tujagena maso tuchibagambe ne wanku bade a okuleta ko munuzi ko miyao kwa komekerezedwa na ye a nja kusubira njoboli yao kya pasoni wa kuchana maso wa lupamba na katiko ke bana chulamu okumekinga chuma tine bana yiganda bana fi abaka manyo mala makutuli ko kwedule gwanga bawe bo mukisa tumekinga making sure buli chifo tuina ko candidate either penga NUP ba fe nga opposition ah mwala bye era ne nkola ya bakuma dembe nkola ya government we bade nga aba NRM ba minister ba MP na bakulembeza abalana nga bo ba bade bagena maso nokole nkungana za nenga pete batukiriza kusinkana okuleka wanuka ku headquarter ya fe ke batukiriza kusinkana nkungana za pebaze bazono na bazikuba muti ya gas bazikuma mama sasi nokusi baba na fe na atinga ba NRM bo bagena maso nokola campaign bagena maso nokola meeting za era watukiride akachiko kebyo kulonda oluna kulwa jo nsongezo bituzibategeza netubajukiza ntwaba wandikira da watu akala abazi gazetting obaba langirire akabonero kafe akamambuli akali mulangi za pesa lange myofu lange njeru ne lange eya chibululu na ye ngabwe bade nkola yabwe bwe bakola che chimumu kutulemesa mukwebu zabuza nulemese bokola consultation ne lero bwe chapana nye ne twaba tudde twaba tukiride ne tuchibatulira nubona ne tubategeza no bategeza nti si chabwe nkanya okula gache kubira bo okuvayo ne befula abalwana gana na fe uloko ze salangi ya fe miufu atenga tujikoze sa mu mateka era batubiza tumubunambiro bagenda kitunamu okulaba nga akabonero kafe katongozebwa kasebo ne banyabo boze nsonge endale nkuru jemba denjagala okogerako ye nsonga ye bigambo byo mukulembeze wa gwanga president Joel Museven biyavuddeyo olunaku lwajjo naya sanguza ate wali amusunye wali amukase naye olubanyuma kwa ebisera je biseko bo batu kwata ne batu lugunya ne batu kumbula muganda afi asin kauma ne bakuba no kunya bana yuganda banje watali mtango president Museveni abayo ne yegana nga kanuda amasu na gamba te bana batu kubako te bana ba kukola ko cha bolabi chonna na era engeri je tusinza katonda atebaka era katonda ya mujeyo amazima naka fule mpiso ne kamufumita na abayo na byasanguzanga te wali amukase na gamba kitufu aba SFC aba kumi aba mkuma bangu ba era na nyonyora ti banku ba bulunji nyo ngabo yali ayagala kakati nno jagalo baju kitaba sebo ne banyabo tine wanku bade bali bateka ke misango nzengo omuntu bateka ko musango uko kulya musoro kwe bateka ko musango uko kwati bane mundu machini gani bili era ne bazileta ne basteka o ne wanku bade ze mundu izali no kube mundu zange sibanje zalaga <laughs> Kakati tusubira je koti ya Uganda efunye obujulizi obulikiria era jagalo pategeza njo bwe bumu ku bujulizi bwe tugendo koze sa ngatutwala mwami mu 7 mu koti yensiyo na kunyo nyo ni msange kana mateka ba fe wano mu Uganda kana mateka ba fe kulukalu lwa Africa ne bana mateka ba ola ensiyo na bali mukuteka teka kutwala mwa mu 7 mu koti ensiyo na no kumutu no kutwala ensonga za fe mu United Nations oba mukachiko akensiyo na oba mu mukachiko kama wanga amagate na era njagalo patekeza nti ne wano ne wanku bade koti za fe izetengeredde tugenda kutwala omusango mwa mu 7 mukoti ezawano kubanga bwe mmanyi omusango te kuvunda lazima ye ne banne bwe bakole bikolobero bajja kisa sulira icho ke bakola ne bikolobero bibagenze maso okola ndi musanyu kubaganda bange olwa lero okutongoza okusonda kwa fe okwa sente nyakala kwebaza 
munafe haja Aisha Kabanda ne Dr. Sema tikone wakati koko kona munusonda sente iza kawufube ono yagala noko so mukisago no kuba kunga mwe naba na Uganda banafe abali wano nabali bwiru gwanga ukwenyigira mono kawufube kubate twina sente atebe tukendo kweta ukutandi kokola kati tigenda kweta aganyo sente tuchimanyi tigebuvude ke banga dene tubade tetweta ka sente Mwe basebo ne banyabo mutsange yo mukubo mutsanga kuze petro station ngateka mama futa agobwe ndo teka mu mutwalu teka mu 15 ne mugamba abajuzeo ngate mwagala na sete gerendi mwe mutu yambi tumanyi je mulie yo basebo ne banyabo abasobola oku okutusondera ne sete suko mutwalu tubasaba mugene maso nga mutu kirira nga mutu kirira akulira akachiko kapaka sonda sente aja Aisha Kabanda nga napa bakulembeze mutu kirira Ababa ah, babangu ide Tumanyi nchi jemuliba na Uganda Abata agala na kuwela misi Abata agala na si Etegerenti na mwema sonzi Kwa niliza obu yambi obu baganda bangi Kumanga tuwe taga Tuwe taga posta Tuwe taga amafuta Tuwe taga okuli sabana pe ababera mfilu Tuwe taga ibi ntubinji nyo Eratu ya kusonda sende zino Atu ita mkunga anestari zimu Ngatu ita mkutunda, hivi ama jolo beru gafe, nko fira, nevi dala, hivi fana nangevyo. Na hivi ngatu ita ni mkutu ukirila mwe, bachinomu, basebo nebanyabu. Na mwe abaso wola kutusondela kumombayel mani, tuba saba mkutusondele ko. Manye inti ajat Aisha, ya teke sebo, nevi okunywa, nevi okulia, bitukendo kutunda wanole ilo, kutusonde, se itezo. Nira, kanange, Kunawa kuni yomuza, gori ya unange, nyakuwa hichi bili nguli leo, mami kida ndala katunda, asole, okole mimi mukiyoni. Am, bosi, hichi mukubi semba yuko baganda bafu, yaka la ukogera, ukuruku, abadeu, wacha gena maso, e yomu fieldi, hichi na kuhunga kuruku yuo, hichi rebi mo abakuba na fe. Abaja, gaba people power, wanga ba NUP, na yati nebate kau, ubuta kwa tagana, mubana fi. Mwogezi wapa choge deko, na choge lako li, nilaja kudamu choge deko. Kivana angi, mumateka, kakumanyi petuko beri na nyama teka. Mumateka, joso wola kuwera memba, wabibi na bibiri. Joso wola kuwera, nga kukukulo kumu, Kuli mo national inter platform atengo kugulu kulala kuli walala kare no yaka lo poisa kuno mukisa kuchoo gera mu dobozi editali mukwe buza buza ki aida oli member wa NUP obatoli edem kanchi dem aida oli member wa NUP obatoli joso wala kuwe rango kugulu kumu kuli mo national unity platform atengo kukulo kumu kuli walala fena tuina jetuaba abamu gade tuina bibina abalala gatuwa zaribu wa mbibina bilala abalala ngevina jetuli kebitu chiki ya bulunji jesonga lwa chitu wako atakana gatuma nyiti amanyi gafe gali mbantu na hiku wanga tuwa inobu zivu gade tuso wala kuwana kabone lukamu ni tutandika national unity platform era tusaba mwena waganda wafe mwere kriya yuke mwera Sinti musango obutavera member wa NUP Ira techite gezante tukenda kukola gana na motu atali member wa National Unity Platform Tuze tukola gana neba ganda ba febo na abagala enchuka chuka Ira techuchu usanga ko tukenda gendela kumula magu egumu Ichokula virako tuina ba ganda ba febo abali mbibine virala Nenga tuze tutambulira wamu Tuine nteka teka jetujo banji lira jebuja Eyo kwa atagana neba ganda ba febo Gabali mubibi inaabi abwe Na hila nabu chicha kweta chiso kubera very clear obuta buza buza bantu So that wali alira mune munda na ipena tutiringa wamu mwe simbu mwe mazima nila ni mweru Kale no echo njakade kibere very clear baganda bafi mwe na Njakana pozi nukisera chechimu okuza mwe na baganda bafamani Ba members, abali ba members, ukubeda, 
ba members abatwe yunga ko rubanyuma ne ba members abagendo twe yunga ko yebujja kifena fena twe nkana nkana kitamu fena fena twe nkana nkana fena fena twino kunanyizwa we bumu era fena fena tugenda kuisibwa chechi mutwe wali kwe tugenda kusukulumia ku munne ate kwe tubali kwe tugenda kukakanya ku munne Basaba mwena msigale kumulamwa ate tusigale katulina ichuruvirirwa cha fe njagalo kwaniliza akachiko akakola kubyo kulonda akalangiridwa wano era kuno bwaka bwange ye muri baganda ba fe mwe mutambula ne chifana ncha fe bibala ba mukola bibigendo tuchikirira era bibigendo kulaga abantu national unity platform ifana ne tia munda Nolwe nsonge iyo mutambulire mu bwe simbo mutambulire mu bwe rufu mulage obukulembeze obwo kumwagala okulaba ko nga mu 7 amazo kugenda atenga agenda agenda mu sera inatali cha wanaji Tuba saba temusosola mu bakulembeze temusosola mu bakandidi be simbyo oba bagala ko esimbawo temba sosolera ku miyaka jabo Temba soso lira kuchukula chabwe jono mwami eno muchala Temba soso lira kumfuna yabwe jona ina ono taina Temba soso lira ku standard yabwe mu community jono MP ono tali ono chairman ono tali ona ina chipo ono tali penna penna twenkana nkana Ito yakala tibere kuria eri penna pasebo ne banyabo Echirala Njagalo basaba muleme kugulumiza candidate yena kubanne ate muleme kutowaza candidate yena kubanne pozi ne chirala atenga chino chikuru nyo tulwanyisa enguzi ngatukyali mu lutalo lunyo era tujajirwanyisa ngatutute government tuba saba temu lienguzi tuba saba temu saba abantu echo jaminiro muna nsonyiwa bibine bintu byogede direct nene wena bera president ya bibagambanga direct mu sabamu tiyo nacho ya mimiro kubanga tekiri kumwe kiri eri bantu atena mwe ba candidate temuwayo echo ya mimiro kubanga mu mujyo kuba mufude abakola kachiko abali benguzi tukole echo banayuganda che batu subira okola baganda bantu kubanga bantu batu esize nyo gwanga litwe size nnyo tubere abakulembeze abo betwagala okubera atena abo abatulabirako basobole kufuna ekifana nye kibundi njabe baza okumpuliriza basebo ne banyabo yakumalirizera nga ne bazana te um abatesesi ku fundraising team ya fe nasubiza okugulira mwami kidandala ka akatunda ka mitwale bibi nakalo kusaba mukara Aisha akilize nange takedi nakola mtu ile ya katunda ako basebo ne banyamu ila na mwe basebo ne banyamu abasobola obabe sobola tuwa saba mwagire ka ono Thank you, uh, Honorable Jagulani, for that address. Uh, along the way, we were joined by one of the election management committee members that we had met. She hadn't come yet. She's not too well, but uh, she's here. Kwagala Angel. Let me request you to stand kindly. You're welcome. We're invited the rest of the team while you are with, so you must be able to take note of your coming here. Uh, I understand we also have a team that came all the way from Kayunga. Um, 
honorable member understand we have been members of the NRM, but we want to cross over to the National Unity Platform. <coughs> we will do this in two minutes. I request you to kindly come, all of you, that team, and take a picture with our team leader, and then uh, we will uh, proceed and wrap up the program as we shall let you know. So the team from Kayunga, kindly come. Yes, why? Yes. Why? 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 Why?